your question is find the range of functions what they have given see that fx is equal to x minus 2 whole square plus 5 for x is greater than equal to 2 so first thing we should know that after for whatever the value for x is there or range for the x is there that is your domain so this is your domain now we will find the range here you can see they have given x is greater than equal to 2 so first we will take x is equal to 2 now your fx is what you can see x minus 2 that means 2 minus 2 whole square plus 5 that is equal to 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 square is 0. That means that is equal to 5. Hmm? Next, if you want, you can assess from here only. That means your fx should be greater than or equal to 5. You can see that. Or just go for x is equal to 3. Your fx is what? See this, 3 minus 2 whole square plus 5. That is equal to 1 square plus 5. That is equal to, we can say, 6. So now you can see the value is increasing. Therefore, we will write here, fx should be what? Greater than equal to 5. So this is your range now. Comes to second one fx is equal to 2x minus 1 whole square minus 7 for x is greater than or equal to 1 by 2. Now, first we will take, you can see this, first we will take x is what? Should be equal to 1 by 2. Now substitute this value here. Therefore, we can say fx is nothing but 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 whole square minus 7. Now, 2 and 2 gone. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this is 0. 0 square is 0. That means you will get minus 7. Next comes to your, suppose we have taken x is equal to 1. Greater than half means 1. So you have taken x is equal to 1. Now fx is what? You can see 2 into 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 whole square minus 7. That is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 square is 1. 1 minus 7 that is equal to minus 6. Now compare the two value. You can see the value is increasing. Minus 7 after that minus 6. Therefore, we will write here fx should be greater than or equal to minus 7. Next question. fx is equal to 8 minus x minus 5 whole square for 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 10. <coughs> now, here what we have to do? Just we have to take the x value as 4. 4. What you will get here? fx is what? 8 minus 4 minus 5 whole square. That is equal to, we can say, it's 8 minus and 4 minus 5 is minus 1. Minus 1 square is 1. That is equal to 7 here. Next we will take x is equal to 5. In between 4 and 10, we will take 5. Y means it will be cancelled. So here x is 0. x is 5, sorry. So fx is what? You can see 8 minus 5 minus 5 square. So this is 0. That means you will get the value 8 here. Next we will take 10. x is equal to 10. So fx is what? You can see. So you can see 8 minus 10 minus 5 square. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 square is 25. 
so we can see 8 minus 25 that is equal to we can say minus 17 now what is your range what is your range you can see they have given in big form for x so here the ranges are this this is the minimum value and this is your maximum value hmm? so how we will write here we will write simply minus 17 less than equal to x sorry fx less than equal to 8 so, now comes to next one what they have given fx is equal to 1 plus root over x minus 4 for x is greater than or equal to 4 first we will take x is equal to 4 so here you will take x is equal to 4 what value you will get fx is you will get 1 plus root over 4 minus 4 so this is 0 that is equal to 1 we can say if you have taken x is equal to 4 now if you take 5 x is equal to 5 so fx is what 1 plus 5 minus 4 that is your root so we can say it's 1 plus 5 minus 4 is 1 root over 1 is 1 only plus 1 that is equal to 2 now the value is increasing therefore your range is what we can simply write fx should be greater than or equal to 1 so this is your range now 